Welcome in everyone. It is six o'clock here on your Monday morning. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Jason and Alicia here with you to start your week. Hope you're done digging out. I feel like we <laughs> snowblowed twice. The shovel was nonstop. But finally, for now, we get a little reprieve. A little reprieve. It's it's not much because by the end of the week, Ben, we're gonna be right back at this again. Yeah, that's right. It's the it's the snow globe that just keeps on churning, right? It's already the eighth snowiest winter on record thanks to this weekend snow, and we have more on the forecast later this week. More on that coming up. You can see some partial clearing, however, west and northwest of the Twin Cities. We do expect a brighter day today, and at least for a couple of days, the snow is done accumulating. You still might might see a few flakes and flurries this morning, but otherwise it's just kind of a cool and breezy start to your week. 20 degrees right now, but when you factor in that north wind at 16 miles per hour, gosh, we've got 16 or single digit wind chills out there. It feels like it's six above right now, so it is going to be a cold start to your day. Partial sunshine as we head into your afternoon and uh, less wind as we head into the afternoon will make it feel a little bit more pleasant outside. 28 today and we'll talk about when 40s return to your forecasts coming up. But first, let's talk, talk traffic with Alicia. Yep, and just popping around on different cameras around the metro looking for stuff uh, to show you guys because it's pretty quiet, which is great. This is Highway 10. If you're leaving Anoka at County Road 14, uh, both eastbound and westbound buzzing along this morning. No crashes to slow you down out there at this point. So I'll have another check of traffic coming up in a few minutes. Well, we have seen some roller coaster weather this season and not one of the fun roller coasters. Oh. So we're in the 20s right now. In the next 48 hours, we're going to be in the 40s. Yeah, we've been all over the place. This temperature swing is causing a turbulent commute for drivers. So take a look at this uh, picture our reporter John Croman sent from Shepherd Road in St. Paul. Rough road, it says. The city putting up warnings now about the road conditions because the potholes are just that bad. It's been awful. It's been it's like driving, like I said earlier, on the surface of the moon and, and Cece can attest to it. She's live <laughs> in St. Paul with Warren while the potholes are so bad this year. <laughs> yeah, it was a bumpy ride over here to St. Paul. I can tell you that it's really hard to drive on any street and not to see a pothole. Right now we're on Lexington Parkway and you you know you all know what potholes look like but we're also starting to see uh, little cracks in the surface that span a long way. I mean we've seen so many cracks so many potholes and it's just really bumpy really a headache but experts say potholes are really bad this year for two reasons one because we're in a top 10 snow year and two there's just a lot of freezing and thawing that's been happening and experts say as the snow melts the water is seeping into the cracks in the pavement and then it's freezing again when it gets cold and then it expands and it's acting like a chisel just prying away at the structure of the road and then you get the potholes that you don't like to see. So each fristo cycles create ice and that ice melts, right? It's a, so that process like is too many times it has happened. Water could penetrate the pavement system more than uh, many other uh, years we had before. Experts say that there are temporary fixes in place to kind of make sure these potholes don't get too, too bad. But uh, if you want those more permanent solutions, you're going to have to wait about a month until the weather warms up and then asphalt plants open back up and can get that permanent mix in here to get everything sealed up. But coming up in about 30 minutes, we're actually going to be talking about how you can get money back if your car gets damaged by one of these potholes. Jason Alicia. All right, Cece, they're going to be busy this spring pothole season and construction season. Yes, it goes in that order. Thank you, Cece. <laughs> well, this morning, two people and their pet are without a place to stay after a house fire in North Minneapolis. Yeah, we just got some new information about what happened. Crews say the fire broke out last night at a home on 26th Avenue North. Officials say due to the fire and water damage, the home is no longer livable. No one was hurt, but Red Cross was called in to help the residents. Happening right now, State Senator Tori Westrom is recovering in a hospital after a snowmobile accident. It happened on Lake Ida in Douglas County over the weekend. The sheriff's office says a 13 year old was driving the snowmobile when he hit a packed snowdrift. Senator Westrom was thrown from the snowmobile. The senator's family says he's in the hospital being observed for upper body pain. The teen driver who is OK is a family member who has a youth snowmobile safety certification. Developing right now, the NTSB and the FAA are investigating a small plane crash in Eden Prairie. 
Investigators say it happened just before 10 p.m. Saturday near Flying Cloud Airport. You can see right here pieces of that plane scattered across the ground. Flight records show it was departing from the Fairmount Municipal Airport. Three people went to the hospital. We talked with neighbors who say crashes are uncommon at the airport. I have seen planes coming over to land and taking off and, you know, but I don't think too much about it. <laughs> and no other property was damaged in the crash and no other injuries were reported.